All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have, I'm sorry, tell me your name. One Zach. Time. Zach, that's right, Zach. I knew that. Zach, do this middle section right here, right? So we're going to work through it together as a class. We're going to get to go over a bunch of stuff, bringing in images, styling forms, absolute buttons, all, all types of fun stuff, right? So it's all the stuff we've, we've covered and be using it as a review. So Zach, you want to take it away or you want me to kind of lead yeah, through it? Okay. So um, first, just to, you know, organize all that together, we want to, what do we want to create? Okay, and then, uh, yeah, we can make it. He's got it. Hold down command. Hold down command. Right there next to you. And then scroll. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There you go. There you go. Keep scrolling a little bit. And then, um, yeah, let's keep, uh, let's keep the, you know, the hierarchy, the visual structure. So. Um, on a Mac, you can just also, just to show you, you can hold down uh, command and use these brackets. And then we'll do it on yeah, phone, see that? tab, or? Just the brackets, indent it to the right, right bracket, indent it to the left, left bracket. Or you can just tab. Yeah, a tab on the left, either one. Okay. But that way, you, you know, if you have a multiple line. So let's close out that tab, one more to the right. There you go. Uh, push tab right there. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, what do you want to do? You want to do an ID? You can do a class, either one. Is there a reason why we did the single quote here? Uh, that's what he wanted to do. You, okay. can, you can do it either way. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so with the class, I mean, you can name it, you know, whatever you want. Right, uh, so, uh, Zach, speak up, everybody. Oh, else. yeah, sorry. Uh, stop talking. So Zach, Zach said, you know, he was confused a little bit on the naming convention. He's trying to figure out what to name his class. Um, so, you know, it's, it's purely uh, up to him. But, uh, yeah, so uh, what makes sense to you? What's it going to be? So it's the, it's the middle section. Yeah, so you can do middle or middle section. Uh, yeah, middle logo, whatever you want to do. You gonna add something, Todd? Uh, or, or Paul? Why? This, this is why we need you up here. Section class is supposed to just section. So uh, it, we could done section right here, and uh, I'm just trying to think in my head if we're really gonna need it, but. Uh, it's just for styling purposes, so now we have something to call that section, um, although we don't have another section yet, but um, something to call that section, you know, more specifically in the styling document when we refer to it to style it, okay? So let's go ahead and make that, let's go, go ahead and make that uh, closing section tag just so you don't forget. Beautiful. All right. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm going to repeat that for the, for the people online so that they can hear it because I think that was a good conversation. Uh, Paul said, <laughs> well, first, uh, <laughs> Um, Todd told us, you know, basically um, it's smart to name that section with a class because, um, you know, if we just, if we didn't give it a class and we just put it in section in the CSS, as soon as we add another section, then those elements are going to apply uh, directly to it. And so uh, Paul likened it to, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, laser bombing specificity versus carpet bombing the whole document. So if you're, uh, 
So that's a good visual for you. There you go. All right, so now what do we want to do? We want to go back to real quick. All right. Because these are just the ones that are Go ahead and zoom out. Uh, you can actually, uh, you, can just, you can just take their, it's, it's their logo. Oh, so it's the same. Yeah, so, yep. Save image as. Yep, save image as. So we right clicked on it, saved image as. It'll cut, my computer can be slow sometimes, give it a sec. Put it, make sure it's in that, that Google. So we, we, you know, we want to be specific on where we save the image. Um, yeah, go ahead and, yeah, new folder down here. So he's going to create a new folder within the Google folder and title it Images. You don't have to do this, but it's good for um, organization. And then uh, you can either keep that name or you can make it more simple, whatever you want to do. Okay, so we have a le logo 11w.png. There you go. So now, you're, you're right. There you go. So we want to do an image tag, right? Very nice, so he's doing his source. All right, so uh, right now we're in what folder? What's this index.html file folder in? It's in Google. Okay, so we're in Google, and then we want to get into what folder? Images. Okay, so images, looking for images, and then we tell it to go in with that slash, and then what's the doc? Yep, you got it exactly. So see what he's doing up here, guys? He's in that Google folder with the index.html document, and to get to that logo right there, he's got to tell the computer to go into the images folder and find logo 11w.png. So I'm going to give it an ID of um, logo. logo. Yeah. And then what are you thinking right now? Go into CSS. Well, what are you what are you trying to do? Oh, never mind. It's already it's already done. I don't need to do that. Okay. Um, I was just thinking of the title. So let's go ahead and save it. Let's see what it looks like. You can just push that Alt tab or Command tab. I'm sorry, Command tab. Yeah, go there. And then uh, there you go. Reload that page. You can just do Command R. Okay. So we have to. All right, so what's the first thing we want to do with it? Uh, go to its like size. Okay, perfect. So, let's, uh, so he wants to, right now he's taking the steps to get it to the right size. So is this the, the size we have? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can also, you know, you can also scroll over it. Yeah, move the, let me see something up here. Mm. This way they, they can see it. Oh, you, that's why. Got you. Okay, cool. Can y'all see it there, guys? Uh, so you right clicked on it. And if you just scroll over the image itself, yeah, see that? It'll see that? It'll tell you what, so it's 269 by 207. Okay. So he scrolls over the image itself and it gives you explicit what, what it is. So naturally is what it's showing right now because we don't have any constraints on it. But, uh, You see, uh, actually, I'm sorry, they, they have the attributes over there to the left. 95, height 95, width 205. What's, what's this one? That's with the padding in there. Okay. So it pushes it up. So the reason why it says 269 height is because it has padding in it. You can just copy that, yep, directly. Right click on it or Command C, whichever one you're more comfortable with. Very nice. So, did you end up doing that ID? Yep, perfect. So he's, he, you know, he gave that picture an ID of logo. So now he's going to go in and specify um, the height and width of it. So let's save that. All 
All right, now what's the next step we want to work on? Okay. So what, what type of, what type of uh, is, an, is, a image is an image tag an inline or a block element? I don't know if we went over this yet. So an image tag <laughs> is a, actually an inline element. Uh, so just try going, let's go up to Google, uh, you know, our page that we have, and uh, right click on it. And how do, you, how do you center inline elements? So how do you center text? Do you remember how we centered text yesterday? Um, you can center a line. Yep. So what's the what's the anybody remember what the attribute was? Text align, right? And then we're going to give it a value of center. So just right click on that, inspect that. Let's see it live. Make sure that we're doing this right. Okay. So so click on that section, right? That section. Yeah. Yep. And then let's go ahead and do say we want it the text align center, uh, top right there with its element style. Yep. Text align. Mm, yep. Tab it. Very nice. So that's also another visual. We see that images are, you know, an inline element. So we center it uh, um, using text align center. And who, if you want to center a block element, who remembers how to center a block element? There you go. Well, <laughs> you're advanced. So remember that from yesterday? The, the margin zero auto, if you want to center a block element. The margin left and the margin right are both auto, so it centers it in the middle. Oh, you don't have to do this because this is an inline element. Yeah, yeah, I was playing sure. with it. But what, um, it, if this were inline, um, can you say again what that, that would mean? Okay, so images are inline elements. That's what is inline. Yeah, so images are inline elements just like text, so you center it the same way you'd center text. So okay. we just used, and it's within the section. You know, it's within the section. So right now we're saying everything in that section, text align center, images is within that section, that images, and it's an inline element, so it's centered in that section. What, what would be a block? If text and images are inline, what is a block element? So blo most, most are block elements. So divs are block elements, sections are block elements, uh, paragraphs are block elements. The paragraph element itself is a block element. The text within it is an inline element, is, is, is inline. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So. Exactly. So go to the very top. This is kind of like what we did yesterday. Put in that asterisk. Give it a rule and say uh, border one pixel solid. Yeah. Yeah. One pixel box. No, you say solid. Hold on. You, yeah, you can do the box sizing border box right now. Box. Yeah, no, you had it. Box dash sizing. Say border box. Border dash box. Like that one like that. That's right. Save it. Okay. And then go back over to. Uh, Reload the page. You can just do Command R okay. and zoom out. Zoom out. Uh -oh. Zoom out. There you go. Okay. Well, what were you wanting to do with that, Tom? Sure. Okay, so if we just go in here, we can uh, edit as HTML. We can do um, div uh, so we have that. You can see we have paragraph.
like that. Yeah, I'm just showing you all the different block elements. And then you have uh, another paragraph, paragraph, and then you have a, a link. Uh, ordered list. All right, so you can see here all these, this div right here is a block element, this paragraph's a block element, headers are block elements, paragraph again, a block element with the A tag, so a link, you know, an anchor tags, an inline element, so you, and uh, the way you tell is, you know, block elements naturally go to, you know, have a line break before, before and after it, okay? And then inline elements don't have line breaks. So you can see there's no line break between paragraph and link right here, so that anchor tag is an inline element. And let me give you another demonstration here. We could, uh, just to show you how image is an inline element, paragraph, this is the start, end. So see how it displays in line with that text? And it's also just to reinforce, you can see that everything on the page is some form of a rectangle, box, whatever you want to call it. So everything has that, you know, that box model to it. Um, the only thing is, you know, as, as uh, Julian said it uh, real well earlier about the inline elements, you know, the padding, the padding they can, I uh, can't remember that word you kept using, but it was right are just perfect in terms of uh, they can overlap each other. Suited, yeah, they can suit on, uh, vertically suited. All right, so let's reload this page. Um, and for, go ahead and go back to the code. So see, when you do this, you can just, you tap, tab, like move that mouse, oh, we'll go. move that mouse around. So you just tap tab, and then yeah. when you're done, let go of command. Okay, okay. All right, so just go ahead and delete that whole top thing you just did, the asterisk. Yeah, it's going to delete it. Oh, that was the border. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that. Yeah. Um, and so we want to. Um, wait, how does it use the inline? Yeah, go for, do whatever you want. Which, which of these, if I decided a lot, would it work? The borders would still be there. Okay. So what did this? That was, remember yesterday with uh, the box? He's asking what did the box sizing border box do? Um, that was uh, yesterday where we talked about. Uh, you know, when you uh, specify the width or height of something, it puts the padding and the border within that width and height instead of adding, adding it to it. Okay. Which I'll, we'll see a, a, like a live demonstration of that here in a, in a little bit. Okay, so let me add the, uh, uh, the body to the image. Yeah, so right now you're adding, he's adding the uh, text align to the section to get that image to center. Is this 300 or what? Uh, so the, the we're going to, give the section the, the styling of text align center. So what'd you name that section? Okay. All right. And remember, CSS, class, period denotes a class, um, pound sign, hashtag, whatever you want to call it, denotes an ID. Text align center, perfect. Save that. Just hold down Alt and push tab once. Now let go. There you go. Reload that page. There we go. So we have it nice and centered. So the next step we want to do is, what do we want to do? We lower it. Lower it? Okay. Perfect. Um, so this would be the body element. Okay. Or the top border element. Yeah, let's do it. Or would you do, would you use padding or margin? Uh, in this case, since, uh, you know, it's all a consistent, he's asking whether we should do margin or padding here. In this case, since it's all a consistent, you know, consistently same background color, it's, uh, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, it doesn't really matter either way, we just want to push it down. 
So we'll do padding top. And you can, I'll show you, like, just go ahead and put in like 100 pixels. And now hold down shift and push up. So you can experiment with that up or down, wherever you want it. Okay. So a little more down. They did a couple, they did padding on the, you know, in the, in two different parts. So uh, I would just look at what there's, like scroll all the way to the top. And then you can see like it's kind of halfway down. Mm -hmm. So now scroll over to yours and kind of get yours on the same, you know, on the same uh, level. There you go. Perfect. All right, perfect. So he's got the padding top for the image at 190. Yep. So any of this change if we were in an animation like Google or Facebook and stuff go up there? No, it'll still it'll still be within some type of container, you know? Right. Um, so whether it's a div. Yeah. Us able to play with it. Yeah. That as far as we know right now is the focus. All right. Hold on. That's the. Let's see. Let's see what ours looks like. Is that what ours looks like? All right. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So now. Why padding over Uh, I mean, I, I don't think it's really you know matters in that. That's what he was asking. Which one we should do in, in this case, just because of the, the background color is consistent. Why padding over margin was the question. Sorry. All right, so what, what do you think that, uh, so uh, remember yesterday? Was it, what's his name? Is it form in the middle? Okay, yeah, so we got it. We help over there, form and input. And I would suggest you can just check out um, the index file yesterday just to, you know, get a little refresher at the very bottom. You can really probably just. Just have copy it? Or sure, if you want. the form, there's a field set. So should be aligned to your right? Yep, they, yep, same. Um, sorry. You can just see highlight all the, yeah. if you highlight all those lines, you, that's where you could do that command. And right bracket, you got it. But oh, see, okay. so you could do like if you highlight multiple lines, you, you could do. Got it. Okay. So save that. Let's see what it looks like. So basically, you can highlight it from yesterday, using that as a template, see what happens on the website, and then make adjustments. And now we're going to make adjustments. Exactly. Well done. So go ahead and save that. Let's see what. Let's see. All right, so a couple things. Um, since we have no styling here, uh, field set naturally uh, puts a, a box, a box around here. Um, and then uh, we have that submit button. So um, what do you want what do you want to work on first? Do you want to um, let's get rid of this box first. so okay. Here, take one break so he can stop and record. <laughs> 